Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi 5. This time we have Drift ROM based on Android 15. So this is a pretty similar ROM to the Lineage OS I have already reviewed. It's the same person actually maintaining this ROM. So about phone Android version. So Android version is 15. The Drift version is 15.1, community stable for Rosie. And maintainer is Sabil29, who is the same maintainer of the Lineage OS for this device and the security patch level is from 5th february 2025 and the ui is pretty much stockish as you can see here looks good and the control center as you can see here looking good no issue at all in terms of network connectivity wi-fi bluetooth and hotspot working perfectly fine and we do get bo lt and bo wi-fi option with this rom but i can't really test them because as i said this rom doesn't connect to network so although it does detect my sim card but i it doesn't connect to the network so as you can see here it does show bo lt option and bo wi-fi option maybe bo lt and bo wi-fi going to work but i'm not really sure but other things are working perfectly fine like bluetooth wi-fi and hotspot those are working display section adaptive brightness is working no issue at all and here we get few options like double tap to work and double tap to sleep so working perfectly fine no issue at all wallpaper and style so we got only single clock here and in the change wallpaper we do get few customized wallpaper specifically for this device so as you can see here these are actually customized for rosie so as you can see here readme 5 lineage us lineage us so these are specifically made for this device and few other wallpapers and the default wallpaper is here so the wallpapers are pretty cool and we do get few customization option here we are not getting detailed customization option on this rom it is pretty much stockish rom we can change icon font and in the more lock screen option we do get few things here like always show time and info that means aod is a bible so let's try now as you can see here so you can turn on aod if you use that and that's all what you are getting there nothing much sound and vibration working perfectly fine no issue at all and we do get power volume control and for sound effects we do get Atiga FX as you can see here it is in default mode right now I did not change anything here so you can customize up to your liking and few other things notification pretty much similar accessibility so I haven't disabled any kind of animation here so for better experience you can actually disable all sorts of animation like remove animation and you can use the device by the way this is a 2gb 16gb variant so the performance is not really that good because this device not meant to run android 15 but still we are getting android 15 for this device in terms of security we do get both face and fingerprint unlock i did enroll the fingerprint as you can see here it is working well no issue at all pretty fast actually you can enroll face unlock too and as an android 15 based rom we do get private space in the more secret and privacy option we do get few option here like restrict usb auto reboot and anti-theft protection all those things sim lock and pretty much similar to all other rom location is working perfectly fine password and pass key safety emergency in the app section we get app lock game space app compatibility changes and few things and also side body survival if you want you can turn it on so as you can see here it is working well no issue at all parallel space and few other things in terms of battery so the battery backup is pretty good and i haven't faced any drain issue or anything like that so for battery backup you can definitely go with this rom and we do get few option here like charging control option is a buy well battery information is available although 
these are not really reliable and few other things storage so by default it's going to take actually 8 gb of storage so as you can see here almost 8.5 gb used already and that's it actually i did install few application here in the system setting we do get few option here as you can see button option is available and status bar where we get few customization option like quick pull down and also like location of the clock and few things so these are the customization you are getting with this rom nothing else and we do get draft fest updater but it doesn't work and that's all actually we are not getting much here in terms of application we are not getting much with this rom as you can see here i did install most of the application here actually and we do get atiga effects for audio control and equalizer things also we get a music player which is a chord does work well actually and in terms of camera we do get a camera application here which is working no issue i did try that so as you can see here we can take picture and video recording is working and you can definitely install a gcam here FM radio is working well, no issue at all. And in terms of Google Photos, unfortunately, we are not getting unlimited storage. And in terms of Magic Editor, that is also we are not getting, but basic editor is working well. So as you can see here, we cannot do like circle and erase and all those things, but basic customization we can do and it's working well. And in terms of safety net, safety net is not available too. So if we check here, setting about, so as you can see here, device is not certified. So bank apps payment application not going to work here. And chat GPT is also not working because it does require safety net. As you can see here it is not working and i can't really check like phone calls but definitely going to work and other features like we do get circle to search and working well actually the circle to search is slow aside as i said this device is not meant to run android 15 but with 2 gig of ram we are still getting this kind of features that's quite amazing and overall, the animations and everything actually pretty good. The ROM is pretty smooth. No issue at all. It does hiccup sometime, but it is working well. I haven't faced any major issue with this ROM after using this few weeks actually. So the ROM is working well. And definitely you can disable animations to get better experience out of this ROM. And in terms of gaming, obviously this is not a gaming device and don't think about it actually. Basic games is still going to work, but no hardcore games or anything like that. So definitely no go for gaming. It is a daily drivable ROM. So if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. There is not much ROM available for this device actually. I haven't found much here. These are the few under 15 based ROM you can try on this device. And they are pretty good. So that's all about Refresh ROM for this device. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.